In this example, we are going to be um, determining whether the graph of this, which when you have a power raised to a power, um, or an x raised to an x is called a tower function. So we're gonna have to do a little manipulation to do our derivative is eventually what we're talking about because we're trying to see if this graph uh, where x is greater than zero has any horizontal tangent lines. Horizontal tangent lines really means we want to know when we have a slope equal to zero. So to figure out when a slope is equal to zero, we need a um, we need a slope equation. So that means we're going to need to do the derivative of this and set that derivative, that slope equation, equal to zero and so on. Okay, so first part of this is we need to do the derivative. Second part of this is set it equal to zero, and let's see if the graph has any zeros. So, um, or if that equation has any zeros. So very first thing is we're going to look to do um, the derivative. However, I want to manipulate this. So if I have a tower function, I need to manipulate it. And so if you have something raised to a power, you can rewrite it like this. And I use a B just to kind of see which piece goes where, because if I want X to the X, then I don't know which X is X. And so I have, um, this can be rewritten as E. My exponent becomes a value in front of the natural log, so which is X. And then it's going to be the natural log of X, right? So if I didn't put a different letter in there, then I really wouldn't know which one goes to which. So that's what we got. That's what we're going to do the derivative of. So when we do the derivative, we're doing the derivative of an exponential. So it's a derivative of an exponential, especially with an e, is itself times the derivative of the exponential, or a derivative of the exponent. So it's a derivative of this, which is a product rule. It's always going to be a product rule because that's typically going to be an unknown. And so we're going to have the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, which is one over X, All right? And so let's clean this up a little bit, see what we got. So we have E to the X natural log of X, and this becomes the natural log of X. And then you have X times one over X. So that's gonna simplify out and that's just gonna become a one. All right, last little bit is anytime we have we rewrite this tower function, the very last step is pulling it back into its original form, in which is we have this piece. And since it's an exponential, you're always going to have this piece because uh, derivative of an exponential is always itself, which always means that we're going to take this piece, this e to the x natural log of x, it is equivalent to what we started with, right? We took this and manipulated into this. And so now we're going to take that and manipulate it back into that. All right, so there is our slope equation. That is our derivative. So that's the first part. We need that because now we need to set it equal to zero to figure out when is this thing equal to zero. So we're now going to take, um, since we have factors naturally, which is perfect, we're going to take each factor, x to the x, and set it equal to zero. And we're going to take the natural log of x plus one and set it equal to zero. All right, so um, this, your x to the x doesn't actually equal zero. Um, you can't. Uh, part of this is because... Um, if you were to rewrite this, so let's look at it from a different lens. Remember that that is technically um, e x natural log of x. And when does that equal zero? Well, exponentials are greater than zero, right? If you think of the graph, it's an exponential that has a horizontal asymptote at zero, but it never gets there. So that value is going to be greater than zero, so it can't equal zero. So that's not going to get you a solution, but this might. So we'll subtract the one. Natural log of x equals negative one. To solve an exponential, or to, to get rid of a log, we are going to exponentiate. Right? And so this just becomes x equals e to the negative one, which maybe a little bit better way to write that is bring that negative, move the negative exponent, bring it down. And that's it. So when 
does this graph, if we were to graph that, have any have a horizontal tangent line? So if you were to graph this, you would have a horizontal tangent line uh, at one over e.